So I just went into a meeting and uh, I decided it's probably a good time to go get lost in a cornfield. So we're going to get lost in a cornfield. But anyways, the meeting I went to was about diseases in corn and beans and basically anything that you can really think of that we might end up having an issue with that we need to watch out for. So things like southern rust, tar spot, gray spot, gray leaf spot, uh, sudden death in beans, frog eye leaf spot, sudden death, I already said that. Uh, there's some other things too. but. Anyways, we're out here, we're gonna look through this field a little bit because we don't wanna lose crop. And what they're saying is, gray leaf spot, if anybody knows what it is, um, some of the northern boys might. So gray leaf spot will form a gray leaf on here, on the leaf, on either the top or the bottom. I think it's on the bottom, no, it's on top. And they'll turn this entire corn plant gray by the end of it. So, what I need to do is I need to do some more research on it and really figure out what it looks like in early stages, figure out symptoms and some other things for it. So then that way we can prevent it from affecting our crops. Now the problem with gray leaf spot is gray leaf spot will cost you anywhere from 20 to 60 bushel to the acre. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of corn. That's a lot of corn. I don't know that we want to lose that much corn. I mean, this corn looks really good to me. It's got a nice green color to it. It looks very healthy. Uh, there's a spot right here where it looks like Ross had ran it over, but uh, this is also a low spot in the field. You can see that by the way that the crop changes colors from here to over there. We'll go over there and we'll look at this. And uh, what they said was, since we did have some rain to go out and check, and since we are going to get some rain next week to go out and check again. And uh, just keep an eye on it and watch for it and see if we can see anything that looks detrimental to crops because, like I said, we don't want to lose that. But the other thing is, we do have something that we call Triver Pro, which is a fungicide that we spray on uh corn it is a triple action chemical that we spray on corn it usually is guaranteed to make you ooh, there's a june bug that's really cool call them corn beetles around here little guy hi how are you doing i'll pet it i'll make it my friend oh no it's running away it's running away all right well fine don't like me i guess but uh whoa there is a lot going on on this one i don't think i can show this on youtube but yeah uh so we gotta watch out for stuff like that in our corn and in our beans especially just to make sure that we aren't going to have a huge issue and i'm thinking that we're going to have a bug issue this year oh no uh it's just a bug june bug Looks like we're gonna have a June bug problem this year. But, all right, I'm, I'll, I'll talk to you guys whenever I get to the truck. So, uh, we're, we're worried about it obviously and they have, they have already came up with a solution to these issues. So the one solution that we can do is we can run a trial, a trial on some corn forget what the product's called exactly it starts with a v it's called like valdemir or something like that we can run a trial with it and that's something that we're thinking about doing we're going to run a trial with it the only problem with that is it does not protect against southern rust and southern rust is our biggest issue and as the main thing that we're worried about keeping under control so southern rust in case you guys didn't know it's basically if you know what rust looks like on a vehicle it's kind of the same thing and it'll show up on a leaf and it'll cover the entire leaf if it gets that far and hopefully you try to prevent it before it makes it that far now common rust that's a whole nother ball game that's fine 
you got to know how to tell the difference between common rust and southern rust if that makes any sense to you guys southern rust is a little bit more severe or actually it's really a lot more severe you might lose like a bushel or two to common rust but the southern rust you could lose up to 30 60 sometimes even more than that sometimes they'll completely kill the plant and i don't know about you guys but i don't really want that in my cornfield so but this uh one product that they're talking about letting us put down is uh pre-tassel it's right before it tassels and it's about v10 to v14 stage and that is before tassel so you put this on before tassel you can come out here and you can spray it with a i don't know like the deer sprayer instead of haggy and ground apply it but we are going to try and we are going to get our hands on some of it for sure i will get my hands on some of it this year hopefully but uh we're going to keep an eye out for everything and keep looking at stuff and i'll keep you guys posted as i look but we are going to go look at some beans though here uh probably tomorrow i'll probably wait till tomorrow to look at beans because here soon we're gonna have to worry about if we're gonna put any fungicide on we're about to flower uh i want to do a test trial of putting on two rounds of fungicide instead of just one they say that you can see a little bit more of a yield spike out of that and it'll probably pay off at the end of the day the more you put on the more money you put into it the more money you get back out of it so or you hope you hope you do so we're gonna do some looking we're gonna do some digging and some research and then we'll figure out some things so how you guys doing today today we're up at our other bin side up in oak town uh getting uh corn we're getting corn but we're gonna get rid of few at it yeah got a whole whole lot of yellow corn today so uh up there loading then they got nature in the bin <laughs> But also, I think that's this bin. What? I can't hear you. Okay, you're welcome. No, but hopefully. Ah! Oh, I probably got hit by the door. It scared me. No, but yeah, <laughs> they're bringing a tractor up to this in case after we get these two trucks loaded and then and we get this bin empty, get it clean. Uh, we got the grain back and stuff set up over there for that little bin. Because, excuse me, we've been having all good problems with that bin, so and have to use the grain back to get it out. So, what we're gonna have to do. And uh, now the truck's gonna be here shortly. I don't know. It's awful dusty, so I don't know. It might be here. Oh, look real quick. Yep, the other truck is here. I don't know who's driving that, but yep. So, pretty much what we'll be doing for the rest of the day. Freaking bunch of ground walls and stuff. Trying to <laughs> not torment them. Okay, guys, we are definitely not spraying and we are definitely not trying to get all of our dicamba sprayed before the dicamba date. This is 24th of June, I'm over in Illinois. And in case you guys didn't know, Illinois did extend their date to the 25th. So that gives me a little bit more time to wait for these beans to come up and get growing and then I can spray them. So that's what I'm doing today because I can't wait any longer. So uh, I'm about to have another breakdown. My sprayer has a hose that is leaking on it. My dad wants me to try and spray as much as I can with it leaking a little bit. It's not leaking a whole too terribly lot right now, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't get too much worse. And then hopefully we can get it fixed in the morning at least. He's gonna bring up a uh, adjustable wrench later so that then we can get it off. But we're gonna try and get this 
get as much spray up here as what we can because we're gonna try and cut wheat tomorrow and it's probably gonna wind up getting cut whether it's wet or dry so we'll see because they're calling for rain all the way through next week well uh we are broke down again so time to go home another day in paradise oh well nothing we can do about it fix it and move on but we're gonna go home and then in the morning we're gonna go get that fixed and hopefully be on our way oh you truck come on there we go all right well yeah we're gonna go home and we're going to move on to the next project so we have made it up here and we gotta put this thingy in all that so i gotta feed this hose through up there behind that valve all the way over there then take this hose off tighten that one up then tighten that one up so yeah this fitting on this hose was just bad this is the same hose that i had but we're gonna give it a try see what it'll do so we got it uh, i'm gonna go up there and start it up now and then hopefully it doesn't spray much oil out of it and i have to run all the way back home and get it fixed again so yeah i'm not gonna put any oil in it yet though because like i said we use the old hose we just cut the end off of it put a new end on it and hopefully it works we'll find out here in about five seconds looks good so far and we're gonna put some more oil in it i brought about five gallon up here with me and i'm gonna put it in then we'll go Sometimes these little five minute jobs will wear you out because like reaching up there and shoving and pulling and so yeah, let's get some oil on this thing so that I can go cut wheat later. Well, I went home and got some pizza rolls and I guess I ended up missing out on wheat harvest, but they are basically done now. That's the last strip of what we're gonna bale. Then there's some of what we're gonna bail. You can see it there, it's all in a line. Oh well, I guess they're not gonna bail that much. I figured they'd bail a little bit more than that, but I guess not. Looking pretty good. Looking minty. I'm gonna, I guess I'll hook on these head wagons and move them around a little bit here. I showed up from spraying at the end. So I got the grain cart. Oh my, it's been a while since I've done this. Why? Does it have to be so complicated? It's just a grain cart. Oh, is it gonna go? Oh, relieving it all. You gotta go slow, I guess, since Augie doesn't like to push the combine. Whoop. Well, we got wheat. We got all the wheat planted now. Um, I'd say that tomorrow they're gonna try and plant and spray that, and then we should be basically done for the year, or with wheat harvest until actual harvest this fall so yeah that's the kind of the plan there but we'll resume tomorrow with probably something i'm not sure what but we'll resume with something <laughs> look at ross he's pulling the auger off the bin so that's where we put all that wheat at the reason we put in that bin is because that's where all of our seed wheat goes and then after that we will uh take it clean it and then we'll put it in the bin out back that we got for wheat so or for our seed wheat we got two bins that we usually put it in we put it in this one up here until we clean it and then once we clean it we'll put it out there we put it in this one out here because it has an auger or a, not an auger like a blower thing that pushes it from there to this old shop and this old shop is where we do the uh oh this is where we do all of our cleaning for a wheat so let's see I think Ross realizes he's gonna put the thing up some more. I don't think he does.
Come on, He-Man, you got it. You need some help? You got a little bit more. Come on. Come on. You got it. A little bit more. Right there. I'll try that. A little bit more. Oh, that's good. That'll do. I know it will. Huh? I know it will. I actually think you got to go up by another foot. <laughs> Ross, you ready to spray tomorrow? Yeah. 40 more acres. 40? Yeah. More like 50. Five. Oh, okay. How many gallons do you got in your sprayer? Enough. Looks right about 55. Wow. You got lucky on that one. I know. So we're up here spraying now and after doing some thinking and some... Actually, after doing a lot of thinking, yeah. I've basically decided that... Uh, Plant, getting everything planted earlier has its advantages by a long shot. So this year we did not have to spray near as much as what we normally would have. We are not done spraying yet, but as far as spraying like Roundup and Dicamba and 2,4-D and Liberty and stuff like that, being planted earlier gives you a lot of advantages as far as the growing season because the quicker that you can get that ground out for get the beans out before the uh, weeds start coming out the less money you're going to spend on chemicals so i also did run a test plot and i'm anxious to go see what it looks like so whenever i get home i'm hopefully going to go look at it but basically what it is is it's a one pass it's basically just a one pass straight shot and done kind of thing now whereas like right now we're running double pass and stuff like that uh, this one pass probably will work well and the good thing about it is is we waited for the beans to come up until it was about that tall we ran some warrant some enlist over the top of it and some roundup at a high rate and I'm gonna go look at it here after a bit that's all I'm gonna say about that I'm gonna go home I'm gonna fix my razor and I'm gonna take my razor and ride down there on it because I mean why not right but uh, yeah, I think it should be a pretty good deal. I think it should work out fine, but we'll see, I guess. It's hard to tell them. So uh, we are now moving everything back home and to Bridgeport. Ross has to take his sprayer to Bridgeport and Xavier is taking, home, taking home my water truck. We had it parked up here at Russellville because we needed some of the chemical off of it. And then uh, Ross will probably try and spray tomorrow or Monday, depending on the weather, or later next week, because we need to spray over there at Bridgeport. I didn't think we needed to yet, but Dad says we need to do it. So I'm gonna go over there and look, and then I will make my final decision on what we need to do. So today, been doing a little bit of spraying around here and there, just touching up on some beans. And uh, on my way to Bridgeport now, almost here. And uh, a car just passed. If you look out there, about right there, there's a little baby deer, a little fawn, come running out of the woods. So, but yeah, been uh, moved. Uh, sorry, brought my spare from Russellville uh, over here to Bridgeport. So, because uh, uh, starting probably Monday or so, I'm gonna spray uh, beans over here. Help Alex get caught back up. Spray all the beans over here. Remember from last year, video from when I spread over here, I broke these two lift cylinders. And we're try, not gonna do that. We're gonna try not to do that again this year. And I also, also got stuck over here, so also not gonna try to do that. So, wish me the best. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.